What's up guys and welcome back. I'm actually pretty excited. This is the first time in a little while I've done a reaction video here. Uh, I've been gone for a little bit uh, doing some other stuff and it is, just hasn't come around a little bit. I do try and upload at least once a week. Um, on my normal schedule I do two, di two times a week. I do you know this reaction stuff uh, or you know kind of talking to you via the camera with my computer sitting here in front of me or I do some uh, kind of gear review stuff. Other than that, I'm excited to be back, uh, and in this one we're actually uh, watching some of the uh, monster kayaker Dane Jackson here. I don't know if he's a monster, a mutant, or whatever he is. He's a really great kayaker. If you don't know who Dane Jackson is and you're in the kayaking, rafting world, then, uh, well, where the heck you been living? Because uh, Dane Jackson is one of the best kayakers in the world. Uh, you know, there's several out there, you know, he's definitely one of the best, but we're going to jump into it here. And we're going to be taking a look at one of his runs through Fantasy Flush, or as he titles his video here, even rowdier this time. That sounds like fun. Let's take a look at what Dane Jackson has been up to. I am currently outside of Lake Alpine. It is Cinco de Mayo, but instead of putting on a sombrero and drinking margaritas all day, I decided to rally over here. Initially, when I woke up this morning, I was supposed to rally to Royal Gorge with Ben Coleman, but unfortunately, the levels ended up staying a little too low for us to head over there, which is a bit of a bummer because I've always wanted to do Royal Gorge. One of those few runs I haven't gotten to do, but also just a run I've wanted to do my entire life. Just looks so epic, but unfortunately, levels didn't happen, but it's all good because hopefully it'll come in at some point this season. But the good news is, despite the change of plans and Royal not coming in, I was actually able to rally over to Fantasy Falls, where Ben Stukesbury and Jason Hale are kind of stationed out doing some laps right now. They already had shuttles set and all that, and they were nice enough to invite me to join them for this lap. So I'm super fired. Can I just say that? It's, it's, he's talking about rallying this way, that way, you know, being here, not being able to run there, going all the way over there, you know, doing this and that. That's kind of just like a kayaker's or rafter's dream, really, is, you know, just go around, do this sort of stuff. I mean, I know Dane's living that dream already. A lot of other people are, too, uh, but it's it's just incredible, you know, to be able to just to do that, you know, and that's just your life, you know, it's just something incredible. If I had that life, you know, I'd be out there instead of here, so... Right up on that, that things worked out that way because Fantasy Falls is one of the sickest runs in the world, one of the best classic runs in California. So many sick drops, sick white water, some of the stoutest sequences. It's one of my favorite runs ever and I haven't done it in a few years, so I'm super, super fired up to drop back in there. Although this year is a little bit different in terms of getting to Fantasy Falls because normally Fantasy Falls is one of those few runs that you can actually just put in at the bridge over the river. But this year, because things are happening a little earlier than usual, the road is still closed to get up there. So it's about a nine mile hike in on the road up there, which is a little more effort than you normally have to put in for this run, but it's all good because sometimes you got to work for the good. And once you're there, you're there, and fantasy is 100% worth the effort. So I'm super fired up that I. Maybe I need to work on my. Uh, probably, well, I probably need to work on my um, hiking with my kayak a bit more because. You definitely get to some fun runs when hiking like that. There's um, some fun runs around here that I'm not quite at with my skill level yet, but it, hiking nine miles in for a run, it's a lot of work carrying a kayak on your back. Everything worked out. I can still go kayaking today. I'm really looking forward to getting back into Fantasy Falls. It's going to be so sick. Looking forward to piling with these guys and just getting back on one of the classic multi-days in California. Already a solid start to the season. Can't wait to get back in there, but first, got to start the hike. Let's go. Stoked. You, uh, you never really gave us beta. You just said, put on your game face, and then you dropped in all the big stuff. <laughs> Everybody knows a friend like that, right? You know, just, hey, you know, game face, let's go. Because <laughs> you were scared, therefore Nick and I were scared. We were in 2012 Zens, and you said it was the highest you'd ever been there. <laughs> it was. All right, I was going to shoulder it the whole way, but... On long hikes, that can kind of suck, especially with overnight gear. So, and the problem is that all the backpack systems are sold out, just like everything in the outdoor industry this year. So, I'm going to do the classic contraption with the pool noodle, and hopefully, it won't fall apart like I did at Kings. Let's see if I remember how to do this right. Get in there, Dave. That's, oh, fuck, that that's closer. Good. That's closer. Dude, that <laughs> Especially that rope right there smacking you. Yeah, that's right. Teabag, Well, if it lasts the whole way, I'll be very surprised, but still, I think better than shouldering it the whole way. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm going to have to make one of those contraptions myself when it 
when the water's running again in the spring here, you know, just go have some fun that way. It'd be a great way to do, like, just do laps on something. I've never, I'm not, I mean, I'm, I'm a rafter. I'm not really a kayaker yet. I do have, you know, my kayak now, but I'm more of a rafter myself. But, you know, that, that's pretty cool. It definitely, you know, gives me, or inspires me more to go do more kayaking, you know, even on something small, like a class two run, you know, do that, you know, backpack straps and, you know, you can just do laps right there. You don't have to worry about the road. Um, as long as you're not getting too tired carrying your kayak up and around all the time. All right, boat loaded, makeshift system. Hopefully, we'll survive this trip. Time to go work for the goods, get the hike going, put an audiobook on. There's a very solid chance that I will eat shit right about now. Well that worked pretty good. Well, remember I said I'm super paranoid. I always want to make sure I have all my gear at the top. Well, I did load all my gear into the boat, and luckily I can go kayaking, I have all the essentials, but for whatever reason, I thought I secured my other elbow pad enough, but nope, looks like it fell out of my boat somewhere on the nine miles in. Looks like I only have one elbow pad this trip. Better than none, it's all good, still going. <laughs> I've done that myself where I've just lost a piece of gear and decided, you know, got everything I need to go kayaking. Don't have that one certain piece of gear though, so everybody's human, you know, even, you even day in here. Okay, you. Time to put on. I gotta say, I just love his. Oh crap! Never mind. Hang on. Wow. So I'm sure you know those guys of you who watch this. Thank you for you who do. Um, you know that probably looked pretty simple uh, to me. I was completely terrifying because I again I'm not a kayaker yet. Still need to work on my roll, but other than that, I just love his pink boat, you know. Awesome boat, you know, Red Bull on there. I mean, I don't drink Red Bull, but it's cool to see, you know, a pink boat out there in the roll. It definitely is, you know, iconic. It's Dane, you know. Have fun. Jeez. Holy crap. He actually got stuck there for a sec, too. What the heck? This is something I love to get into, but I don't, I'm terrified of getting stuck like that. I got push left. Ah. Good grief. That kind of reminds me of my more recent run down um, the Clark's Fork over by Missoula, where it was just a nice drop and you kept going. Uh, tumbleweed rapid, but uh, it's not that tight. Oh. It's more like that, where it's just a nice slide in the curve. Ooh, good. Ay, ay, ay. Do this up against that wall? Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to try to get the kicker again. Good grief, man. Dane. I don't know if Dane is, you know, a master, a monster, or a mutant. There's I don't know what he is exactly, but some of that just stuff just scares the, just scares the heck out of me. Just watching him doing that, it's just graceful going down, doing this and that. But that scares the heck out of me. I don't think I'd ever be at that level. <laughs> Jeez. A lot of our crew got their ass kicked in that hole. <laughs> well, even these two guys, they, they opted to walk around it where Dane's running it. I'm like, what the heck? What kind of, what kind of being is Dane? It's like, is he a man? Is he a fish? I don't know what he is. And he's, he's a kayaker, that's what he is, but still, what the heck? Are you running right? Okay. Good grief. Woo. I was like, I don't even know the right one. <laughs> but you're gonna walk it? Yeah, these guys are walking it. Dane's running it. What the heck? Got I don't even know what it is yet. Oh, here's a... Well, here it is, but still. Is he... He's walking. Dane's running. Ah!
Jeez, just look at that. Woohoo! Yes. Yeah, I I I I don't know. Love it. Some of this stuff, my goodness though. It's just hit after hit and Dane's just powering through it. Look at this. Good grief. Great level. Awesome level. I mean, like that, I could have done that. But. First time I ran this, I could have done this well with Ben. You're thinking me a nickname? And he literally just looked at us and goes, in high water, he said, put your game face on and then peeled out. No beta. Put your game face on, Ben. Woo! I mean, I have to, you know, say, you know, kudos to the guys who are running with them. I'm, I'm sure that somebody knows them. I don't know them personally. I don't even know their names, really. Uh, except for one guy, I think his name's Ben. But other than that, these guys are really good kayakers too and running this stuff and it's just incredible. Um, every single time I see a Dane Jackson video, it's just incredible watching the guy do it. It makes it look so effort effortlessly. It makes it look so easy. There we go. And you know, that it, it's just cool. You know, he's inspiring people to get in there um, and just have fun, which is cool. Oh, good grief. Someone, I think Ben just got thrashed over there. Yeah, there he is. There's his boat, at least. Hey, there's Ben. Ben's okay. What the heck? It's like rock, turn, and hang on to your feet. Holy crap, here they go. I, just, I don't understand how kayakers or raptors sometimes can take those drops. I mean, I, I kind of want to get into it a little bit, but just in a kayak, it just looks like it hurts. I've never done it. I mean, I've done it like a tiny one with my with my little boat, but it just looks like it hurts. How do you guys do it? I don't know. Please explain to me how you guys do that. I don't get it. <laughs> Especially when you're that close to a cliff and you know if you mess up, you're hitting the cliff. <laughs> See? <laughs> seriously. I forgot that's a lake, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look that big from here, but <laughs> seriously. Well, at least there was a nice day to get the boat to, but what happened to Ben? Is he all right? <laughs> I don't think your paddle came through here. No, the paddle snapped. Oh, oh it true, did. the pa paddle snap. Ah, duct tape. You gotta love duct tape. Ben unfortunately broke his paddle pretty early on, first day. It's gonna be a long day and a half with a breakdown. Why bring him though? I really don't know what else to say about this, but holy crap, I mean, Dane, I don't know what Dane is, I mean, he's incredible, is really what he is, that's the only thing I can really say to him, and this is coming from a, a, a very beginner, mediocre kayaker, I look at that, and like, what in the world is he doing out there? He's having fun though, which is awesome, but it's, I don't know, I can't fault him on that, I can't fault him for kayaking, but looking at what he's doing from like the beginner perspective, which is basically me, because you know I'm a rafter, I've gotten my kayak out a little bit, but it, I'm speechless almost. It's just incredible what he can do. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll probably put out a part two of this video in a little while. It, it, it's incredible, there's more to it. If you guys really want to check it out for yourselves without me pausing it all the time and reacting to it, I'll leave a link to it in the, below, in the, in, in the description. Ugh. Um, it's time for pizza. Anyway, leave it to, down there in the description. You guys have probably seen it already, but it is just incredible what he's doing right now. Uh, and for me, I, I'm just gobsmacked. I, that's all I can say to it is just gobsmacked.
Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here for today. Uh, if you guys find yourself coming back here on the regular, watching my videos, please consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. Also, please give it a thumbs up uh, if you like the video anyway. If you don't like the video, you don't, you don't have to give it a thumbs up if you don't want to, you know. I like your guys' thoughts, you know, good, bad, whatever. If you guys have any questions or comments about the video, I mean, I'd really love to hear from you guys who drop over waterfalls with your kayaks or rafts. Um, I'd like, if you guys go over waterfalls with your rafts, I'd love to hook up with you guys, you know, practice a little bit, kind of get into it doing it myself. Uh, go ahead, leave it down there in the comment section. I'd love to chat to you guys about it as always. Other than that, I will catch you guys in the next video.